I said crazy. Oh, I want it a little bit. Sorry, I should start it. Let's go. Oh, shit. Lance City back. Come on, let's go. Tenth round. Cole Fish is winning too, man. He about to come back. He about to come back. Oh, look at hold up. Look at his face. No, he ain't come back. He ain't come back. Told you he ain't come back. Yo, he was looking scared as hell. And I'm saying bye bye. Oh, he done. Damn. No, it's funny though. Know, Colovis is winning. <coughs> he was winning the fight. Oh, he won this real quick, man. Cause I was saying like that shit crazy. He was he, he was winning the fight. All right, they're going to come out. All right, I see. Come on, man. Like, you said, crazy. The return of my show, The Fight Game, will preview the September 15th Canelo Alvarez Gennady Golovkin rematch and also look ahead to the September 8th Boxing After Dark Superfly Triple Header, headlined by Juan Francisco Estrada against Felipe Orocuta. Also, we've been shooting a feature piece all weekend here in Atlantic City about the potential return of big time boxing on a regular basis to Atlantic City. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah. Oh, Let's see how I should start it. I got five rounds for one. Bam. Uh, 59, Bam. 55, Sergey Kovalev. I, I think that, you know, he's really in the hardest. Yeah, shot, a little so love. And I think he's won the round. Very, very close rounds. Let's see how it changed real quick. See that left chip? That was a okay. hard left chip. That laid it on Alvarez. And he's landed shots like that to win the rounds. They're close, but Kovalev is winning them. Five rounds to one, Sergey Kovalev. Yeah, he's winning. Okay. Based on the power difference. Well, we saw a fight a few weeks ago between Jaime Munguia and Liam Smith in which Smith had the technical advantages. But ultimately, Munguia was able to win the fight because he simply hit harder and was able to keep Smith back on his heels. That was nice. A little bit of what's happening here, although you can't you can't criticize Kovalev's technical adjustments over the course of the last two or three rounds. They've been very good. He's made a very good adjustment from the kicker. In this fight and that fight, John, where both guys were capable, are capable in this fight of knocking each other out. In that fight, I don't think Liam Smith really could have knocked uh, Mugia out. And as he knew, and I mean, the, the big giveaway in the Mugia Smith fight was the grin on Smith's face in the middle rounds. As if to say, okay, we can all see what's going on here. I'm a better boxer. But he hits so hard, I can't really do anything about it. You were talking to Ward Coleman, one and two. In the second Ward fight, okay. Ward seemed to break so Oh, right there. Right there. His, yeah, his brain shook. Right on the temple. Oh, yeah, he done. Oh, yeah, he done. He done. He done already. Look, bang, bang. Right here, right here, right here, bang. Every hit gonna hurt, his brain rattle, his brain rattle. Whoever watching this, yo, subscribe to Bang At Your Channel, baby. I'm gonna give y'all this shit all the time. 
subscribe to me. Oh, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to give you all highlights. I'm going to give you all factual movements. Let's see where we're going to go at. This, yo, I'm telling you, yo, that first, that first knockdown, it rattled him, yo. That's why he couldn't finish. Let's see, watch, look, look how easy he go down. Come on, man. It's done. It's done.